I thought I'd talk about a method, and it's a method for adding large numbers together. When I was in school, we called it, you know, like, it was long addition or something like that. I don't know what they call it anymore. Uh, but I, I know you know how to add, and I know that you understand the idea of, you know, ones and tens and hundreds and thousands, and you add up these different scopes. So that's fundamental understanding. And, and what I'm going to teach you is a method that is an easy way to do this type of addition. So let's, let me show you by an example. Let's say that I want to add 14 plus 21. So we write it out this way. I mean, I'm sure that in class you've seen 14 plus 21 equals some box. Uh, but in this method, again, method is, is just a technique, you write them on top of each other like this, you put a plus sign on the left, and then you can just add the columns. So 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 1 is 3, 35. And that's kind of the first step. The next step is recognizing that when your column gets too large, that you will then add on to the next column. So let me show you an example of that. Let's say we add 17 plus 15. Okay? Now, we write them on top of each other. 7 plus 5 is 12. Okay, so that first column already is too big. So we keep the two here, and this one we now take up and we put above the next column. Now, you know mathematically what just happened was our ones column just went over and we now have a 10. So that 10, we're just going to represent by drawing it above the tens column. So now 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. And, and that's basically the method. And, you know, the beauty of it is that you can now go and you can do, you know, 2, 1, 9, 7, 6, 3, 4, 9, 9, plus. Right? Two really big numbers. You can't do that in your head. But with this method, you can say 6 plus 9 is 15. So I take that 1 and I put it up here. 9 plus 7 plus 1 is 17. So I take that 1 I put it up here. 9 plus 1 plus 4 is 14. So I can move that 1 up to here. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 0 because there's nothing in here, so you can write a zero there if you want, is two. So it lets you write out and solve these rather big numbers. And we can also, you know, even do it faster without having to write it down. So let's, let's say we add a 298 plus 123. Okay? 8 plus 3 is 11, so we know it's too big, so I go 1, 1, 9 plus 1 plus 2 is 12, so 1, 2, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, 421. Okay, and the method lets you add multiple numbers as well, so watch this. If I wanted to, I could add 12, 37, and uh, 14. Okay, so 7 plus 2 plus 4 is 13. 3, 1. 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1, that's 3, 4, 5, 6. 
63. So the same method that we can use to add, you know, big numbers, we can add multiple numbers together. And uh, this is a handy method that allows you to get, you know, relatively large sums and just work them out on paper.